Channel 10 News starts right now. Off the top at five, a landmark ruling. The Supreme Court issuing its ruling in the dispute over whether former President Trump may claim immunity from special counsel Jack Smith's election subversion charges. And this decision shields Trump from prosecution for some acts, but not all. Our DC Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy, live from the Supreme Court today with much more. Ben. Well, Calvin Nicole, this is a major decision by the nation's highest court. Trump calls it a big win as it kicks his case back down to the lower court. In a monumental ruling, the U.S. Supreme Court decided Monday that presidents can be shielded from prosecution for official actions, but are not immune for private conduct. In a 6-3 ruling, the court's conservative majority, Chief Justice John Roberts, wrote, The president enjoys no immunity for his unofficial acts, and not everything the president does is official. The president is not above the law. In dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor argues that this reshapes the institution of the presidency, adding that it makes a mockery of the principle, foundation to our constitution and system of government, that no man is above the law. Former President Donald Trump touted this as a big win for our constitution and democracy, proud to be an American. We're supposed to protect our country. As the ruling means, his immunity claim in the January 6 election interference case is now headed back to the lower court to determine if core aspects of the indictment are unofficial versus official, with the Department of Justice saying absolute immunity would put a president above the law. Trump is facing four federal criminal charges, from conspiracy to defraud the U.S. to obstruction of an official proceeding proceeding in connection to the insurrection and his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election. South Florida representatives are reacting. Congresswoman Federico Wilson wrote, the Supreme Court is a MAGA Republican hack. Today's decision is all the proof you need. This wasn't based on Constitution. It was based on politics. Now, the Biden campaign is also reacting this afternoon. They say this ruling does not change the facts surrounding January 6th as we now wait for the lower court to take back up the case. Reporting live at the U.S. Supreme Court, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Shaping American society with, society with their rulings today. Thanks a lot.